What's up, guys? We are back. So sorry for keeping you guys waiting for so long. It's me today, Ryan Yi, and I have over here to my left, uh, Erwin. <laughs> and of course, we have. Hey guys, Shu Fei here. And welcome back to another episode of Mama Sessions. Do I have a horn? Bow, bow, bow. Oh no, that's not. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. That's the that's supposed to be the horn. The horn hey, the intro music gone now. Yeah. Oh, do we usually play it longer? Yeah. I'm sorry. In case you guys noticed, you didn't notice, Jin is not here today. Yep. He is uh busy um um holidaying with his family. Uh, yeah. I think the man deserves a break. So uh, we right take over. We take over this <laughs> show. <laughs> it's our show now. <laughs> Bye, Jin. You're not. You're not wanted. You're not needed anymore. Yeah. See, no, we need you, lah, Jin. Uh, hey, does so Jin even know that we are doing this? I, we we're contemplating whether or not she just uploaded without telling him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll Surprise! see. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, as he comes back from Australia, and he's flying back to Australia from Australia. We're like, oh no, oh, what new, is this? New, new episode of our sessions. Let's listen to it. <laughs> yeah. <we're, laughs> anyway, so how have you guys been? It's been a while. Shufei, yeah, how have you? Have you guys been? I heard you guys went to something interesting today. It was a pretty interesting event, you know. They got people with like 50,000 to 150,000 subscribers all in one place and they gave like a workshop and Owen and I had the privilege of talking to them for 20 minutes. Owen talked for 15 minutes and left 5 minutes for me. Oh, uh, no wonder I'm not invited. La. I only got 1,000 1, viewers on uh, YouTube. Eh? Uh, 1,000 yeah. yeah, subscribers. Feels bad. You need, you need, <laughs> you need, let's, let's, that's some rookie numbers, girl. You gotta you got, you got bring him up. You gotta bring him up. <laughs> I will still... <laughs> so what, how, what have you been up to, Shufei? Me? I see you've been like playing around in Samuel Lagoon and stuff playing like that. Playing around. Okay. I don't know. Tell us. Okay, so last week, is it last week? I came back from Taiwan. Yeah, so I did a show with EGG. Uh, shameless plug. But yeah, we did like, this, it's kind of new because we traveled to Taiwan to do like this, you know those uh traveling kind of video, you try food and stuff like that. But this is a little bit different because we actually went there to actually see how the gaming uh scene is like in Taiwan. So we actually visited this hotel it's like a gaming hotel. So in your room, right, they actually have like gaming rigs set up for you. So you can actually play in your room. Oh yeah, I saw in the story. Like, yeah, oh, it's cool. damn cool. Can you imagine you go to the hotel, right? Then you're like, okay, I'm not going to explore Taiwan anymore. I'm just going to stay in my hotel, play games. <laughs> so what do they but, expect you to yeah. do? Like, you go into the, the Taiwan and then the next thing, play you know, games. you're going to stay in the hotel the whole time. Yes, yeah, but it's damn nice. It's really damn nice. There's different kind of rooms also. There's like this, uh, it's capsule, capsule room. So it's like, it's like a bunk bed, but it's in capsule form. So you go in, right, you can just close the door. And there's a gaming rig inside there. No lah, but there's a TV lah. Then you can ah. plug in and play your PS4, whatever, whatever. So, it's damn cool. So you can go to the hotel in Taiwan and then Owen and I can play you from home lah. Okay. We got we got our PC at home. <laughs> <laughs> so I say, we go all the way to Taiwan. People ask you, oh, how was Taiwan? Uh, um, it was great. Yeah, the I played games the whole day. <laughs> Yeah. Sounds like something Owen would do though. No, come on. You travel so far. I mean, you, you don't yeah, want to just stay in the room. But it's a good experience though. It's really cool. Are the rigs like good? Like, are they like like souped up PCs? Are they, yeah, are yeah, they yeah. Like, really Not bad. Yeah, yeah, some of the, the monitors are super big. And you know, if you don't want to play in your room, you can go to the lobby and play also because they actually set up like a, like a, like it's like for teams to play. But if there's no teams playing, you can actually go down like any time of the day. You can just play there. You can even play other people. Yeah, and so then we also went to uh, Taiwan's biggest land party. Land, land party. Yeah, oh, like land local for. area network yeah, land party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people oh actually bring their own computers there, you know, and then they set up at this uh area, and then you can camp there for like three, four days. Did you wow. did you used to do land parties last time, Owen? Yeah, back then when internet wasn't so powerful yet. The, they're the, still using dial up and all that, right? The one, yeah, crrr, the one, right. they're all land, like CS 1.3. Yeah, right. Starcraft. No, did you like land party at your friend's house before? Like bring your computer to your friend's house and land yeah, party? Yeah, yeah. Laptop. I mean, yeah, I don't do that too often, but... Yeah, yeah. it's damn cool. And, well, okay lah, I mean, Taiwan people are like super different from here, you know? Like the crowd. Like here, right, I feel like when you go to like uh, gaming events, right, and then they have like activities for people to do, right? A lot of people are really scared to participate, but in Taiwan, I tell you, even if there's no free stuff, uh, they really just go up and try, you know? It's like... Yeah, the crowd is crazy compared to here. Yeah, right here is like if only if you got like free stuff to give them, people got like motivation to go up there. Yeah, like the people here are a bit shy, uh. yeah. Why, uh, I wonder. I don't know. I think they just you know scared like they embarrass themselves or something. I don't know. <laughs> but like I have, uh, it's quite it's quite fun lah. But the thing is right, I find sometimes you know these kind of events got like weird people. You know, I tell you, there's this specific uh guy right. He's like. 
So funny. Okay, so um, when I was at the event, right, there were like a few guys, a number of guys, they will like randomly come up to you and like take picture of you one. And then like for me, because I'm a foreigner, right, I'm not from Taiwan. So like some of them, they will approach me and ask for picture also. Then they will at least ask like, oh, what's your name? Like, can I follow your Instagram? You can't think. And I'm like, okay. But there was this one specific guy, right? He came up to me and asked for me, asked me for a picture. I was like, oh, okay. He took the picture. Imagine like, he selfie with me, right? And then he straight away, thank you. He walked away without even looking at me. He just, thank you. And he just walked away, you know? And then I was so like, what the hell? Like, this guy just took a picture of me. He didn't even ask me for my name. He just like, <laughs> see, 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 see. And then he just walked away. It's like he he, he took a picture of me. He went and fight for the next target. Like, who am I supposed to take picture with? <laughs> it was so funny, you know? I was like, dude, this guy doesn't even know who I am. Yeah, at least <laughs> a shy. He actually, he took the picture uh, with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he didn't just go and take your picture. Like, oh, no, hello, no, no, chuck, no, no, no. And then just no, no, run, no, no, no. Just run away like that. No, no, no. But I just find it like super funny. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, mostly I think Taiwanese people are really nice, lah. Apart from that specific incident. Have you been to Taiwan, Owen? Nope. You haven't uh, been, been to Taiwan. Nope. You sure? It's I've a really been nice to a uh, Taiwan Nice restaurant. <laughs> 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 I I think you love Taiwan, though. Yeah, All I the love food Taiwan. There, you look like a kind of person who yeah. like really oh, enjoys Taiwan. You guys Taiwan. don't speak Mandarin, right? Do you? Do you speak right? Uh, Irwin. Shui shui, shui shui, shui shui. Why is only shui shui? Come on. Just. Uh, just a little. I mean. Can you read? No, I, I mean, if you ask me to read my name, then maybe you can. Uh. You know oh. how to read like, <laughs> 我是什么什么, uh, that. Basic can. Uh. If uh, I think can. Uh. Yeah, you, you can. Uh. The thing go to, oh, everything with food, then can read. Uh. Uh, food, can you uh, read, right? Oh man, I, I can't really read anymore. I mean, I still can. Uh. I still can pick up like some words here and there. Like always say, uh, anything with food, of course, can read. Uh. Mm-hmm. Anything not food, 50-50 chance. I, I went to Chinese school when I was in primary school. And then after that, I didn't study Chinese ah, same really. La, so same la. Like, but ah. I, I always think like, oh, I can read Mandarin, right? Were you like hang on, is it? No, no, no. Eh, you're not, Wawasan but you're staying, you're in Subang girl, Wawasan. Wawasan. Oh, the three in one school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, la, but I know how to read Mandarin, right? I thought like, I go there, sub, sub, so yeah, I go there. <laughs> you know the Mandarin we learned here is Traditional, jian, right? Yeah, yeah, here is Jian Hi Zhu, uh, it's the yeah, simplified, simplified one. Fun. I go there, huh? <laughs> the mention can read your Right, like completely different like that, right? Yeah. It's so confusing. Uh, but okay, uh, you should you should visit Taiwan. It's really nice. But aside from that, let's talk about some news that we have. Um, first off, I think I would like to congratulate all the uh, Form Five students on finishing your SPM. The effect. Which, what's the effect? Which effect you want to give? Uh, <laughs> the uh, clap hands one. Uh, oh, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there you go. Congrats, guys. Congrats. <laughs> On surviving your high school and finishing SPM. Hey, since you're talking about SPM, right? How did you guys do during your time? Do my okay, uh, Owen, let's go with you first. Oh, me, uh, my SPM is I'm just an average student, like literally average. So if it's uh nine subjects, I got five A's and what, 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 that's what? more than half, right? That's better than. Average. Wait, what course do you take? Uh, what I mean, what course I take? What I mean, subjects? What stream? Oh, uh, it's a science stream. Science stream yeah. Uh, but yeah, in my mind, it's like okay, lah. I think. Get three happy already, but <laughs> five happy. Oh, okay, good lah. Hey, you uh, almost double your your target, right? <laughs> I mean, no, not much high expectation. I'm uh, just gonna okay, just gonna do it. I mean, I don't expect to get any more than five. I was like, oh, five, oh, better than nothing. Yeah. What's the the rest? You got what? B's, C. B, I think I only got C for BM. Ah. What do you get BM. C for? BM could be, could be. Uh, got C for either BM. BM or chemistry. No, no, no. What's the one? Biology. Yeah. Biology. I think, I think it was biology. Which was your favorite subject though? Among the three signs? Among all, uh, among all. Hmm, I would say maths. Math? Just regular. Yeah. Do you take ad maths? I did. Yeah? Oh, did I you get A for ad maths? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> 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 I was like, okay, la, I should be able to A. But I was like, eh, ah, yeah, surprise. Ah, never mind. <laughs> well, surprise come out. Wait, C, wait, B, were you, B, were B, you B, those B. lazy students that never study? And then you only study last minute? Or you really try it really hard, but you cannot? I think I'm the one that think I can start. I uh, know. I imagine like, oh, I think can 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 do it lah. Yeah, last minute try ah try, but end up, eh, why like that one? <laughs> it's like suddenly you go into the exam hall. So I, like, just, eh. I just kind of like admit like, okay lah, just just uh, accept the fact that okay lah, maybe this exam thing is not my thing. So as soon as I finish my SPM, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do things with too much exam stuff. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm 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 out of this. Yeah. Hey, so I got uh, so I took IGCSE. Oh, okay. And okay, but okay. I did take SPM one paper only. I took BM. I oh. got got it. C, <laughs> C minus. <laughs> that was really bad. I yeah. got C also. 
no. I got C minus, so that I'm not not very proud of that. But I'm I'm very proud to say I got straight A's on my IJCSE. <gasps> wow. My Xiao Xiao, eh. hey man, your boy is straight. Wait, you got student. C for B <laughs> C minus. But that's C not minus. part of your. But so I had to take IGCSE. Then and then because I'm a Malaysian citizen, so they they like kind of like said it's best if you still take your S to get your SPM cert. Right. Hey, but then do you study BM? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did, we did. We had the KBSM BM oh, syllabus. Oh, okay. syllabus. So we did BM just like you guys and everything. And I was just really bad. I mean, like, I'm very bad with literature in BM. Uh. I can oh, understand. Same, same, same. I can understand when people speak in BM. Same. I can speak in BM, but. Mm. When it comes to like the Pomahaman and you reading all the essays and stuff, I'm just and the novel, how many novel and and uh, actually, short story you have to read? One now, year? You, now that you say it, right, I don't remember any of the story except for the, uh, my Ying Xiang Zhong ah, like uh, is the the dead one. The Which dead, one? The, the they all I realized all the BMs the the novels are all really sad. The one, the one what ah. The the mom in the coma one, and then the uh, dad had a new wife uh, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. Is that is that concerto to Ahe? Ah yeah, is Cons- it that is one? It to yeah, Ahe? yeah. Then the girl, she she very sad or whatever. Then the mom the the, the mom, mom wake up, up the and mom then woke up. and then wake up see the dad with the new wife and then, and she, then she died. died. <laughs> <laughs> do you not do you not remember that? <laughs> <laughs> you never study uh. It's a really messed messed up story. <laughs> wow. Which one which one was it again? Is it Maniti Kacha or is it uh, Panas? Even... There was like Maniti Kacha. <laughs> Panas no, Sauju. The is the poem one. Concerto to Ahe. This tree. Concerto to Ahe. Concerto to Ahe. The last yeah, yeah, the, the one, right? Yeah, because the daughter apparently she learned music or something one. Then she met this guy and then I think became a ah. boyfriend or something one. Then after visit the mom really, then funny, the last part really, the mom just I was like, away, eh. we reading that chapter, I was like, <laughs> did, she, wait, did she really just wake up from her like, what, five, six year coma? Yeah, and yeah, then, then she died. Die immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh my god this yeah. this is this is quite quite intense oh my god if anyone remember that please let us know it's damn funny I think it's no I don't think it's Concerto to Ahe it's Concerto to Ahe is the one the guy he go play the concert and then his father die is it? or something like that is it? Can, I, can anyone remember? I don't remember but I remember oh, wait, that story you, I have no <laughs> idea what, what, you get for, what do you get for your BM? <laughs> B? B? But, but, oh, yeah, you get the best out of all of us no but I I don't know what you guys are talking about. Eh. You, you guys <laughs> never do the novel, man. Every, I like, think they changed novel or something. Uh. No way, because me and Omi is only one year apart and oh. you're one year younger than me. Oh, me so it's like we are, we are pretty much in the same, the Maybe same batch. Maybe. Uh, but not after our batch, they changed they the... They changed the yeah. novel, right? Yeah. yeah. I remember for English, it's Phantom of the Opera. For, for me, I'm not sure about y'all. I did Phantom of the Opera. And the Bali shoes one. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. The li- red Bali shoes or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then after that, they changed it. Owen, why do you look so lost? Do you go to school I, a different planet? I, I never study um, the book. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> too, too busy do, too busy going for a land land party. Okay, Shufe, what do you get for SPM? I got seven out of nine. Okay of nine. la, not too bad. Okay. You took but full science? No, I took uh accounting. So I was accounting, economics and M Mets. That was my sub uh sub, yeah. But you know, I actually I th- I think I could have gotten eight la. Okay, I, I I mean I shouldn't blame it on the the you know the exam schedule, but because <laughs> you know you know uh, for Mandarin and economics, right? They actually put it like two weeks after everything is done. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you get super lazy to study. Then after that, I'm like, I yeah, can't, I can't. Can, uh. Then two weeks later, I I just I just I, I felt, it. Yeah, I felt like I didn't really prepare much, but I just got a B la, So, so it's okay. this year, apparently, what they did is they did it the other way around. They put oh. those papers early. Yeah, I was quite surprised as oh, well. Oh, okay, okay. And I found out they had the last paper they had, I I think it was accounting or something like that. It was quite a major paper that like most people would have to sit for. So like uh, we were quite surprised, you know, because we were planning to shoot uh in a school and we found out that the Chinese paper was not the last paper, which usually is, you know, like the languages, the Chinese, the Arabic and all that stuff is the last paper. But this year, they kind of did it the other way around and put that first. Oh, okay. That's mm. kind of cool. Yeah. So like, so like everyone, you know, kind of finishes at the same time. Because last time I remember my friend also them said, we all yeah. finished and we're partying already. And then they're like, <laughs> I, still, I, got still, I still have exams. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, that was me lah. That's sad oh. leh. Oh. You, yeah. you took Mandarin for your, no, oh, no, econs, no, 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 econs. 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 Yeah. Right. Do you guys hear about the MX thing? Nope. No, it what happened? To lower oh, down the yeah. passing rate to five percent. I'm like, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently, it was so hard that they wanted to lower it down to five percent. Five, five percent passing mark, five percent. Yeah, like, like wow. who can't get five percent? And what's the A mark? Like, I don't 50? know. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the paper was so hard that even the admas teachers they took like that one question. They took them a good like fifteen to twenty minutes. God, not. 
I don't know. I haven't seen the paper at all. But that's that's what I read in the news. Uh, apparently. So uh, I'm like, yeah. that's, that's crazy. Yeah, it is true. It's true. Yeah, but, okay. Uh, okay, uh, but off even so, right, I feel like if the question is very really hard and the paper is hard, right, you shouldn't have like a petition or whatever to lower the passing mark. Uh. This is like, I don't know. I, I feel like it's damn stupid. I always thought they graded on a curve. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, the, top, yeah. the top percentile, the top actually, whatever I, I percentile. Actually, I believe so, you know. I actually believe so. You know why? Because uh, for my year, right, I did accounting. Uh, my accounting paper. Okay, I, I was super, super tired that day because I had two papers. I had Sajara and accounts on the same day, you know. So it's like I had to study that two heavy subjects. And then the next day, right, I just died. The first, the first uh, paper was Sajara. So I finished everything, right? Got three papers or more. Then the last uh, one was accounting. And then, you know, there's two... Eh, is it two or three sections? I think it was three, eh, two sections or something. I can't remember. But the last section, right? So I thought it was a separate question, you know. But actually, that two, that two questions, right, is A and, uh, like a and B. So it both counted as one, one question. One question, yeah. So I only did one of them. So you left the other one out? Yeah, I left the whole thing out, you know. And then, Whoa. like, yeah. And then, I don't <laughs> know why I was so stressed. Like, my previous, Whoa. my previous, uh, like, all the the uh, equations that I did, right, it didn't tally, you know. So, like, I didn't have time. And then I didn't, I didn't occur to me and I missed the whole question. So, like, when I went back, like, I, after the, after the whole paper, right, I was in the car with my friends. Then they were discussing all the questions. Lah. And then I was discussing, discussing. And then they're like, hey, which one you do? I was like, oh, I did this question, this question. Then they were discussing. I was like, huh? Why you all did that question? Isn't it a separate question? Then they're like, no, it's together. Lah. And then I was like, oh my God. Oh my oh. God. And then I missed out the whole part, you know. And what do you get? I got A. <laughs> <laughs> this is this kind of people are so it's dangerous. Like, <laughs> oh, I did so badly. Come out the results. Oh. A, 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 Imagine a all your friends that did all the other questions and, and they still got B and C. Like, yeah, I was, so, I was like, well, how can I get an A? Like, I legit missed out that whole part of the question. It's, it's legit a long question. Yeah, like, like, like those worth like a lot of marks. Yeah, on, that's right? why I thought like, oh, it must be a different question. Uh, yeah, but oh, I got an A apparently. So uh, Have you ever had that conversation with your friends after the exam? You guys talk about the question paper, right? Yeah. And then you talk about, let's say you talk about this question everyone's like oh yeah 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 the answer is C the answer is C the answer is C then you're like oh yeah, shit yeah, I put yeah. B you're like what <laughs> no is the answer really C like that yeah yeah the super stress the come out, oh, it's <laughs> B yes you're all wrong I mean just now we were mentioning like uh, the results are based on your curve right like how, yeah yeah like so technically you're not uh, competing against the paper you're competing against your, your, your peers, peers. Yeah, yeah. so you better hope that year right not so many smart people <laughs> or you could distract them during their studies like hey I want to study uh, catch out you <laughs> <laughs> hopefully get more people lower so you just need to outdo them so you don't you don't need to beat the paper yeah, you, you, just need, your... you just need, need to be not the stupidest person in the room <laughs> <laughs> go test paper ah tak hadir ah tak hadir <laughs> <laughs> oh my god so next time if uh, Owen comes up to you during your exam paper run away from me <laughs> <laughs> during your studies like, you're gonna tear Hi, away let's exam go play paper. football <laughs> <laughs> what the heck uh, but I'm sure the smart people they can juggle one la, okay. yeah probably I can yeah, okay. alright so in other news I don't know if you guys have heard about this but it went pretty viral actor model Godfrey Gao just uh, passed away recently because of work overdose like he was been Working too much and got too stressed, and he died of a cardiac arrest. Can I uh, admit something? I actually don't know who he is until he passed away. I'm so sorry, people, but I really didn't know who he was. I mean, me Honest, too. Yeah, yeah me honestly, too. neither did I. But uh, he's I'm guilty of that. <laughs> but I mean, it's the it's the manner of how he passed away that oh, really yeah. shook it's people quite, everywhere. It's quite shocking, though. Yeah, yeah. imagine being on set and you just suddenly got heart and just. Apparently, yeah. he was been working for what seventeen hours. And then he collapsed while filming a reality show in China. And he got sent to the hospital where they kind of tried to revive him for a bit. And then after that, he just, yeah, just passed on. Don't overwork yourself, guys. I think also part, partly it's because of the reality show that requires him to really uh, run a lot or something like that. I don't think running is the case though. I mean, continuously because it's very high intensive. Uh, oh yeah, true. You gotta, show. yeah, you gotta continuously portray your there, yeah. your character, you know, and and have like a very upbeat personality the whole time. Mm. But and what what are some things you guys do? You know, like when you've been working too much, uh, do you guys do anything to like relieve your stress or de-stress, Owen? I mean, being in this industry, I think it's sad to say it's quite common that we do many hours. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think. And how do you de-stress? 
de stress ah. No, it's always stressful. <laughs> so how do you de stress? How do you relax after a day's work? Um. <laughs> as good. soon as it wraps, I think it's de stress already. La. I think I think more importantly, it's uh, I think you need to know your limit. Uh. When, when you do your thing, um, when you shoot, if you feel like you're not feeling well, just call in a day. I mean, don't don't over push yourself. I think I think a day before, Godfrey was uh, saying that he wasn't feeling well. And even on set, he was like, okay, guys, uh, I, can't, I can't do it anymore. So I think these are the things that we really need to uh, uh, take extra attention into. Uh, um, we shouldn't like take it for granted. Oh, he, is he just putting on for a show? I mean, because we have to put safety and health uh, utmost priority la, because mm. <laughs> something like that happened it's just it's just it's a tragedy it's just, bad, man. It's yeah. just, it's, it's just bad you Shifei what do you do to normally de-stress I mean I would want to say like uh, Dota but you know Dota gives me more stress <laughs> rich big tick <laughs> but my <laughs> teammates are so bad smurf account. that's why you need smurf account for <laughs> stress no, but game. yeah I like to play games sleep watch YouTube YouTube is the best I think like if you find like some funny channel, right? Woo! Your days mate. Woo! You don't go for like massage or anything. Oh or no leh, but I really like massage lah. But I feel like sometimes massage is like expensive. Then I don't I don't want to waste the money. So I just like oh, cheaper to watch YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> free. <laughs> right. Yeah, or I just get my brother to do it for me. Yeah, free. Oh my god. Free massage. You abuse your brother like that. <laughs> yeah, help me, help me, he'll repent, he'll repent. Oh, I pity your brother. <laughs> <laughs> every day every day go home. Didi ya, faster, like. <laughs> hey, but okay, what? I mean, I will offer to pay him, la, but then I never offer. La. You know, la, like. <laughs> like <laughs> offer, wait, wait. What? You will offer to pay him, no, but you, you never like, offer. No, la, but you know, last time your, your grandma, uh, your mother always say, hey, you help me, I'm more, I'm more. One hour, I give you two ringgit. And can you, got, you guys got <laughs> before or not? <laughs> what kind of wages is that? Ah, you never do before. Uh. No. Ah, last time, my grandmother, my mother, my auntie all got like that one. Eh. Then my cousin all like, okay, okay. So they help the mom. Maybe, maybe one hour. Uh, yeah, one hour, <laughs> give like two, <laughs> two, ringgit. two ringgit. Then wow. you're happy, ma. last time you were like, how old? That, like, you're 12 years old, like, oh, got money. Okay, ah, do ah. Yeah, desperate time. <laughs> 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 so that's why I need to go and massage my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, like, that was uh, last time. Like, then now I just ask my brother, then he do for me. Do you give me two ringgit an hour? Oh, no, lah. he'll be like, what the hell, cheapskate. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't like not giving <laughs> even cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> Family, ma. But do you help him? I mean, he never asked me for. Uh, wow. <laughs> Maybe you can wow. offer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How about Ryan? What do you think? Like, um, I think it's yeah, like like what kind of echoing what you said. I think it's really important to you know watch out for your mental health, um, your physical health as well. Uh, over over stress, I feel is a uh, something that's been happening too much, and I don't think it's a really good thing. I think just last year there was a case here in Malaysia with this auditor who overworked and got too tired, and I think he passed away in a car accident. Is that oh man, I can't remember. It happened a while ago, but it was a case of overworking again and. And it's it's such a it's such a depressing way, uh, it's such a depressing piece of news to receive. You know, I think everyone should be able to to look out for their own mental health. You know, if you're feeling too tired, I don't know, go and de-stress yourself. Whether you like to play games or play Dota, even though that might cause you more stress, uh, or to go for a massage or go for we just take an off. Like takes, a yeah, yeah. Off I recently day. read somewhere also someone you know just took an off day, not cause they're traveling or not cause they're sick. You know, just to you know have a day for themselves at home to just chill and and really, really get <laughs> back in the zone. But yeah. the thing is, when you come back to work, you got more work. Go you're you're more stressed. <laughs> oh! <laughs> true. <laughs> that's true, that's true. But it's about finding the balance, uh, I feel. Hey, but going yeah, deeper yeah. into mental health, right? You know, uh, I read this article. They say that, uh, how to say, like when people tell you their problems, right, and like what they're going through, like you shouldn't, actually tell them that you understand how they feel really yeah i don't know why but i read the whole article they say that you shouldn't say that you understand what what should you do then because like usually people will like tell you their problems and usually maybe the common response would be like i understand what you mean and you tell them like oh uh, i i i deal with this similar situation before and then you start comparing right. your situation with theirs mm, mm. yeah so they say, the article says that it's not nice to do that because actually you don't really know how that person feels. Yeah. Yeah. In, it's yeah, like it the situation comes back to you and then you're like really narcissistic. You're just talking about yourself. Mm, like half mm. thing. So yeah, what's the best thing to do? Like just listen or? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you. <laughs> it's not like ask you get your opinion. How, how do you deal with someone who 
has uh, like uh, is dealing with uh, their mental health and like they're not doing very well how I, do you I honestly believe like just by listening to their problems you know just being a, a lending ear would, would really help a lot because sometimes people just need to get things off their chest and I know I'm like that sometimes you know mm-hmm. I'll go to my girlfriend and then I'll be like don't talk just let me just <laughs> just listen okay you don't have to reply anything just listen and after just, you like, finish rant, your conversation rant, rant. you realise she got earpods on <laughs> 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 but anyway, at least even even so, at least you know I get I get things off my chest, and then I I do feel a bit more relieved. Then you know she doesn't really have to like like say a lot of things to comfort me. It's just the fact of you know getting getting things off my chest. Uh. But would would you want her to give you advice? Um, depends, I guess. Sometimes, <sighs> yeah. Some have you ever had like those friends or whoever? Like they ask you for advice, you give them, then they never take it anyway. Then you're like, why did I give you advice in the first place? Yes, uh, I have. I mean, okay. When when that happens to me, I feel like I've done what I can. I give them the advice. It's up to them whether they want to use the advice or not. Because I've I've get gotten advice from people that I didn't follow as well. So I can kind of like relate to it. Mm. Yeah. You like Owen? Um, I because I think this regarding this mental thing issue thing, uh, health, uh, it's quite a serious thing, and we, I feel like. I feel like leaving it to the experts, but <laughs> but but personally, how I think is I, I've, um, they a lot of them just want to have a listening ear mm. to just uh s- stress their problem. I think at the wrong time where you give them an advice, it sometimes it's gonna be counterproductive. You're gonna cause more destruction. To okay their health. Actually, this is a very big debate. Like I feel like right, if you have friends who are very depressed, I know you want to be there for them, but. Can you imagine like constantly being so negative like and you have that negative like you know vibe that they give to you all the freaking time like how how do you deal with that like I don't know I I, I don't want to sound like I'm not em- empathic to like what they are saying but it's like sometimes they they give out the negative energy and you just you just can't handle it you know Yeah yeah I get what you mean I I've yeah. had one friend like that before but I think in that case, what I did was like, I just, you know, um, it was my friend, so I kind of had to like stick through it. Like like what Owen said, uh, sometimes you don't really need to say much. You just need to listen. And even though they may be repeating the same thing over and over again, it could be a process that they're going through. And what I did in that case was just be a supportive friend and just listen. Oh. Like whatever problems the, my friend had, I will just like, just listen to her and, you know, just nod and say, yes, okay, understand. And let her, you know, work through her her feelings and her thoughts out, that kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah, but the best thing is to seek professional. <laughs> <laughs> of course, yeah. If it's a real serious problem, yeah, the best thing is to seek professional professional yeah. help. Actually, I always wonder how they do it. Like they are constantly filled with all these negative emotions, like released to them, right? On a daily basis, yeah. On a right? daily basis, right? How do they keep themselves Man. like there? Yeah. I think it takes a lot of dedication and passion. Yeah. I feel like this kind of job, you really need to have the passion for it, the passion to help people. Yeah. Like if you don't mm-hmm. have that True. passion to want to help people get better, it's, it's going to be really hard to, like you say, to listen to such depressing news day after day, day after day. True. All right. So I think that's about time we have for today. Thank you so much for listening. Please yeah. follow us on 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 where on Instagram at Mamak Sessions and Spotify. You can listen to us on Spotify and on Apple Music, Apple and Music, YouTube. and if YouTube. You see our faces. If you miss Jin, please comment in the comments down below because I do miss him sitting here <laughs> at the controls. But if you do not miss Jin, let us know and we can do more episodes without him. Yep. All right. Any last words, Owen? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Any last words, Shufi? I just want to say, enjoy your holidays. Uh, good job on SPM. You know, the future is still very far away. You know, and uh, you're going to enjoy your new life because I enjoyed it as a, a lot, actually. Yeah? yeah? Awesome. Thank you so much. And thank you for listening. See you guys next time. Bye.